All right, here's the map that we're going to try to export using a Python window. So this is just a map of Farmington with some points on it, and normally we would um, try to export the layout. So here's the layout and there's the export, and we would send it like to a PNG image. Sometimes this takes a long time. Uh, with a computer that does. Uh, there's no real fix for this, but there's an alternative way to export the map, which uh, sometimes can save a lot of time. So we'll open the Python window from the view ribbon, and we're going to type in what I've already typed in here, but I'll explain as I do it again, just so we can see uh, what the difference is here. So we're going to set up a variable called aprx, and we're going to um, set that equal to the project, the current project. So we have some little syntax here. Um, it's all uh, very, it's case sensitive, so it's very important to uh, make sure you have all the words and, and uh, capital letters correct on this. So um, yeah, we got to put a period between the MP and the ArcGIS, so um, I'm going to put that in there. All right. Then we're going to hit enter, no errors that time. Okay, so we're going to add a little for loop. So it's going to run through um, every element. So just a, a random variable there in this uh, the list of layouts here. So we're going to run through, and we're going to um, set up the list layouts. And we're going to name, so the list layouts. And we're going to name the, the layout. And in this case, the name of the layout is layout. So we're going to type that in. Now, if you had changed the name of the layout, you may need to uh, not make that layout, but something else. So we're going to put a colon, which um, ends the command. And then we can, inside this loop, we're going to set up the export. So we're going to export every little piece in this layout as uh, an export, so export PNG, export to PNG, and then the path. Now this could be anywhere on your computer, but I'm going to go ahead and type in what we have here on the desktop, which would include the C drive, which is the main hard drive of any computer almost, and users, and then the login name, which in my case is CVB, and then um, you could actually copy and paste this from your your a uh, folder, uh, the path, uh, but uh, you would have to replace all your backs, double backslashes. You'd have to add those in there. And so we'll go right to the desktop and we're going to name the file. And it's already going to be a PNG, so no extension needed on that. And we'll set the resolution to like 300. And we need the double quotes actually after the before the comma. So we'll put that in there and take it away from after the 300. There we go. Um, an enter goes to the next line, but another enter will actually run it. And it may take a few seconds here. And it should be done uh, pretty shortly. This is, you know, a fair amount of pixels uh, at 300 dots per inch. This is eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So you're looking at 3,300 pixels by 2550 or something. So let's go to the desktop and see what we get. I see it down here, and let's go ahead and open it up. And there's the image. Indeed, it's 3300 by 2550. There we go.